Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at Nitrix OS. It's been about six months since I've taken this one for a test drive, but let me tell you something, I've downloaded it, been playing around with it a little bit in GNOME boxes, and it's come a long way. The neat thing about Nitrix is it is based on Debian, uh, comes with a customized version of the KDE Plasma desktop, and it uses OpenRC instead of SystemD. Now you can come over to their website, which is nxos.org. I'll be sure to put that in the description below. Now you can download it right here. Now what I want to do before we get into the OS is you can come over here and look at the release announcement. This come out on the 31st of August, 2022. You just come over here and it kind of goes over that it uses the 5.19.5 Xanmod kernel. It's default for the distribution. And then you can come down here and it kind of gives you an idea of what the MAUI applications in the MAUI shell look like. It really looks good and cohesive across the OS, and I'll show you some of those here in a second. Now you scroll down, it just kind of goes over the changes and gives you things right there and gives you information about the operating system. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead right now and just switch on over to the Nitrix OS desktop. Now if you download Nitrix, throw it on a USB or open it up in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're going to pretty much be met with. And you can tell right off the bat, it's got a customized version of KDE. And this is something I'm wondering myself, because this is a customized version of Latte Doc down here. Now, we have heard that Latte Doc is not under development any longer. And I'm wondering, will it be Garuda or will it be Nitrix that actually takes over the development of Latte Doc? Because both of them use this dock as an integral part of their operating system. And now, as you can see here, we've got the top panel up here. And if you click on this down here, it kind of gives you a different layout in the KDE desktop environment of your Bluetooth, power management, vault, NX notifications, KDE Connect clipboard. You've got your date and time up here, sound. And then if you do open, let's say, let's just open up the settings application. As you can tell, it's got a global menu up here. Well, let's go ahead and make that full screen. And out of the box, they go to icon view. This is what you're going to have out of the box with Nitrix. Now, if you want to, all you got to do is come up here and switch it. And it kind of gives you that different, gives you that base KDE view that you're used to. But if that's not something you want, you definitely can change that. But it does have, like I said, the global menu. And then your dock auto hides, obviously. Let's go ahead and close that. We'll go back to those settings here in a little bit. I don't really think we need to go over them. If you're familiar with KDE, you know what those settings are. So I'm not going to beat those to death. And then you come down here and you can go ahead and click on your file manager. And they've got a different layout for your file manager. As you can see, it's more icon based. Now you can change that up a little bit. But over here, you've got tags. You've got your home folder, of course. You've got your desktop, documents, downloads, music, photos, videos, and then down here, you've got your trash, network, nitrix, and your devices. But you can change this. You can adjust it however you want to. You can make it look a specific way. If you want to go to a list instead of a grid, you can. Let's go ahead and go to a list. And then it kind of lists them right here. Overall, it's not, the layout isn't what I call perfect. I do like it. It's different. Um, gives me a little bit of a feeling of a, a deepen feel. Deepens icons are just a little bit more appealing, but that's all up to you. But there's a lot of different settings and things you can go through over here and adjust this file manager the way you like it. And then you can come over here. That's just your window title. Minimize. You can make it smaller. And then, of course, close it from the global menu. If you come down here, click on this. It gives you the basic overall view of everything that you have here. Now, you can open up Agenda right here. And when you open it up, it just lays out your calendar for you to plan all your important meetings and, and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And then we'll come back down. You've got Arc, Bonsai, Buho, Clip, Firefox Browser, your Index, which is your file browser. Of course, your Nitro Share. When you open that up, I still got the same complaint that I had with this six months ago. Right here, the writing in the background... Is so light you can barely read it. It is a desktop application that makes it easy to transfer files. Now, I'm not going to go into it real in-depth, but if you do download it, I suggest you play around with it. It is definitely a powerful tool, but like I said, I wish they would just fix the text in the background. Same problem every time I look at this distribution, just with this application though. So let's go ahead and close that. 
go back over here. You've got your NX Software Center. We're going to come back to that here in a second. You got KCalc, Steam, Install Nitrix, Install Bottles, Nota, Pix, Spectacle, Station. Let's go ahead and open up Station. I want to see real quick if they have HTOP. And they do. Right now, at rest, you're using about 877 megs of the two gigs that I have issued to this machine. So that's not too bad. That's typically what I'm running on uh, Garuda, my base desktop right now, when I'm not running OBS and things like that in the background. So what's really impressive, though, is I guess Nitrix is utilizing Latte Doc just a little better than Garuda does out of the box because I don't use Latte Doc anymore on Garuda. I deleted it because... It was using, you know, the desktop environment was using like 1.4, 1.5 gigs out of the box with Latte Doc. So when I got rid of it, it dropped down to the, the 7, 800 area. So they're obviously utilizing Latte Doc a little better here. Now we did have a little CPU spike there, but that's no big deal. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's come back down here. You've got your picks. Let's open up picks. That's one of your designed applications strictly for this operating system let's go ahead and open up uh i think buho's another that's your note application you can move that over here and as you can see they pretty much line up clip is your video and as you can see all of these are maui applications based on the maui shell and all of them go right along and have that great aesthetic that matches right up with the operating system. So I'm going to close out of that. Close, close. Now if we go back up here, I'm going to go ahead, I guess we can go ahead and go look at the settings now. Let's go ahead and zip on over there. And I'm not going to go through all these settings because if you watched any of my videos where I've covered KDE, you know what they all do. You're very familiar with them. What I do want to do is go down here to About System. And once that opens up, it shows you we are on KDE Plasma 5.25.4, Framework version 5.97, Kernel version 5.19.5, Xanmod 1, and then the graphics platform is X11. So that gives you the information on the system there. Now I want to show you how to get applications installed on Nitrix OS. So we will go ahead and open this up. And you can see right here, let's go ahead and maximize that. You got some base views of applications up top, and then you've got your Maui apps, convergence applications for desktop and mobile computers made with the Maui kit. And it kind of gives you a different way to get applications pretty much across the system. So if you go up here, you can arrow through these, or do you just got to click on the dot? Okay, just click on the dots. No, don't click on the dots. You got your Maui apps, you've got your newest popular in games most popular so you've got quite an easy way here free to obs so if you wanted obs you just click on that now uh, obs would be an app image and it lets you know right here now my question is are the maui apps also app images so let's say i wanted to get i've already got station wave clip do they actually have them itemized up here Okay, so that did change. Okay, so you can drag through these. Okay, there's an arrow right there. So I've got Maui Picks, I've got Noda. Okay, let's just go to Clip. I know we've got it downloaded. Is it an app image as well? So everything that we run on here is an app image. Whether it's a Maui application or not, it's using app images. I kind of like that. I like that for the fact that I like, I think it's a little bit better for security and stability. Now, I'm going to have a lot of people disagree with me. Now, I don't like snaps. I'm okay with flat packs, uh, okay with app images. A lot of people complain and say they take up way too much space or they're way too large. But I do like the fact that they run inside a container by themselves. And they keep, if there should be a security threat there, they keep it away from the rest of your system. Plus, I do believe when you run apps that come pre-configured with their own dependencies, that you have a little smoother operation with that application. And then if you do uninstall it, you don't accidentally uninstall it, something on your system might require. But I am gonna say, if you do give Nitrix OS a look, check out the NX Software Center. It's definitely impressive.
and you've got your shutdown, and I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, that's a look at Nitrix OS. Just a quick look, obviously. Not an in-depth look. If it looks like something you might download, throw in a USB and take for a test drive, let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, throwing us a donation on PayPal, or zip on over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.